Um, I used to work on that show, Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Yeah, you guys know that show? Sunday nights, ABC, Ty Pennington at eight. <laughs> and um, we were making over the Hollywood Free Clinic up on Hollywood Boulevard. And that's where a lot of homeless people go to get HIV tested. And it was like a hard show for me to work on because I'm hypochondriac and paranoid. So I was always like afraid I'd catch the disease of the week. And um, anyway, we were working up at the Hollywood Free Clinic where a lot of people get HIV tested. And I just happened to step in this massive pile of homeless guy's poo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he obviously had AIDS. And I'm like, great, now it's on my shoe. Awesome. <laughs> So naturally, I sent a production assistant to go buy me some Clorox, and we poured it all over my shoe, all over the poo and the surrounding area, and we brushed it away with a broom. And I was okay until later that night when I got home. I was like, wait a second, does Clorox kill AIDS? <laughs> Not so sure. So in a paranoid frenzy, I went to the store and bought some Windex, because I was like, you know what? If Clorox doesn't kill AIDS, Windex will. <laughs> And I poured the Windex into a bucket, and I soaked my AIDS shoes in there for like three days. And then it was time to take them out of the soak, and I went to put them on, but I was just like, I can't do it. God forbid they're still infected, I can't be responsible for tracking AIDS around the city. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna happen. Um, it's true. <laughs> can't make that stuff up. <laughs> Wow, it's embarrassing. Um, have you guys seen that Drew Barrymore is the new spokesperson for CoverGirl? Yeah? I'm like, really? You're gonna choose a woman with a lisp to do an ad with more S words than any other ad in humankind? She's like, this is Drew Barrymore for CoverGirl. CoverGirl's come up with a genius new mascara with bigger bristles for longer, more luxurious lashes. <laughs> Easy, freezy, beautiful CoverGirl. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what, CoverGirl, exploiting a woman with a lisp like that is just really mean-spirited. On a side note, I saw this short man smiling earlier, and I was just like, what do you have to be so happy about? <laughs> that was my mind, that one.